Welcome to the first edition of How It Works with Hogger. Today, in the true holiday spirit, as you can see, we wanted to get this out before the end of the year to give you the new video series, How It Works with Hogger. So let's get right into it. The first edition is going to be about how to retrieve version info from your applications and even more with one component that you can simply drop on the form. It's one of the components that's less known, I would say, and uh, it helps you so much. It gives you the information you need right away without accessing any Windows APIs. Just drop the component on the form and there you have it. There's no additional work needed. What am I talking about? So if you open up a file in the Windows Explorer and right click it and select properties, you get like a file description, you get the file version, the company that produced it, even copyright information. This stuff can be easily added to your Delphi applications. You simply use the project options and there you find the version info in the application category. And this can even be configured using a certain target for your debug target, for your release target. And it even can be more detailed using the different target platforms. So you can have different version info for your Windows 32 application compared to your Windows 64 application. And of course, for FireMonkey, this is also possible. But we're today focusing on the VCL. So looking down at the dialog, you see if you can specify a key, the keys are being prepared for you by Delphi and you can fill in values and the values even have certain templates. For example, dollar module name fills in the executable file name automatically. There's more of that. Also very useful is the fact that the build number is being incremented automatically whenever you build your application. Remember, building is different from compiling. So if you build your application, the number can be increased if you want to. So you have automatic build creation included in Delphi as well this way. But this is all very neat and to have it in the Windows Explorer, wonderful, you know, but wouldn't it be nice if you had access to all these things in your Windows application? Well, actually you have. So let's go ahead and look at the Delphi programming needed to include this information and even a little bit more in your application. Starting off with an empty VCL application, there's only one component you need. It's called EXE info. So you drop it on the form and this control gives you in addition to everything that's included in the project options dialog, also information about your documents directory, the operating system that you're using right now, systems directory, temporary directory, and the Windows directory. And also right on top, you can read the computer name. These are also available at design time, not only at runtime. All the other information, of course, is included in the executable. At design time, there is no executable, so that information will be updated at runtime. So let's build a tiny little application that shows the current operating system in an edit field and also displays the legal copyright or the company name in another edit field. Very easy to do. So we rename the exe info component to exe info. I remove the one and we drop two edit controls, one and two. And as I'm a little bit older, I'm also going to increase the size of the font so we can see it easier. So edit one and edit two, full size. I'm not going to bother with anchors and stuff like that. I'm just going to say this is the TXT OS for the operating system. And this is going to be the TXT company for the name of the company. And of course we need to change it so that we actually have values to show in there. The operating system is being read automatically by the component, but here we have the version info. And you can see this is designated for the debug configuration on the Windows 32-bit platform. I'm going to change it to 
all configurations for the Windows 32 platform. That means release and debug are not going to have different versioning information. My choice, you can, you can do whatever you want. So here you see the build configuration that can be auto-generated or auto-incremented. So we're not going to touch any of that. We are only going to touch the company name. I'm going to change it to Flix Engineering LLC. That's all I'm going to change. Save. And now the code, we're going to implement it very, very quickly in the form create. So it's available right from the start. So txt os dot text equals exe info dot operating system name. And the other one is txt company dot text equals exe info dot and company name all using code completion and then we can run the application we should be done already so here you see we're running on windows 11 you can see it because my the best feature of all time i guess we have rounded window edges so it's definitely windows 11 and then the company name i just entered flix engineering llc all this information at your fingertips simply drop exe info on your form and that's all you need to do this component is available as part of the vcl ui pack and it will make your life easier if you want to display version information in the ballot boxes or if you want to check for certain versions of an operating system without having to use the windows api did you find this video helpful or do you even have suggestions for other how-to videos just email me holger at flixengineering.com or support at tmssoftware.com with your ideas. I'm sure going to read them. Some of them, just remember, we have to focus on a tiny little project. We can't explain to you, like, how am I going to build the next reporting for my invoicing application? That's not going to be possible. It has to be some tiny little part of your application that you need a hint or some inclusion of database features stuff like that that has been bothering you for years if there is like a how-to that might help you just send us your ideas they're always welcome and also just as a hint i'm always available for you obviously not for free but if you have questions then i'm happy to help you just email me auger at flixengineering.com and i can help you assist with your personal development needs